Rock Mining In Star Citizen, vehicle mining is most often called rock mining. There are currently two vehicles for rock mining. The single-person Grey Cat Rock and the two-person Grey Cat Rock DS. Both of these can be purchased for the same price at New Deal in Lorville, and you will need one of them to do vehicle mining. If you would prefer to rent one, the standard rock can be rented at any refinery. You will also need a transport ship. The Cutlass Black can be rented at any refinery in the same location as rock rentals, and the Constellation Andromeda can be rented at a rental shop in Lorville. It can carry either a rock or a rock DS. A single fully loaded rock will pay for a day rental several times over. If you would prefer to just buy a ship for transport, the Consolidated Outlands Nomad can be purchased at New Deal in Lorville and can carry a rock but not a rock DS. The rock can pay for this purchase in just under four full loads of Hadonite. You may also want to have environment protection. Both the Rock and the Rock DS expose the operator to the environment while operating. So if you are in a very hot location, you will need to be wearing the Pembroke undersuit and helmet, which can be purchased at any refinery from the clothing kiosk in the same store as the Rock rentals. Conversely, if you are at a very cold location, you will want to have the Novikov undersuit and helmet equipped, which can be purchased at any cargo center. You often have a good amount of time before you die to weather, making it so you can get away without an environment suit, but a suit makes it so it's not a concern. Once you've obtained your transport, you'll need to load the vehicle at a vehicle bay, which is usually, and most conveniently, located at an outpost, most of which have these bays. Once you're all loaded up and ready to go, you'll need to search for nodes. This has gone through various iterations, but at the moment it seems like you need to fly very low to detect rock mineables. To look for these nodes, simply send out a scanning pulse by hitting the Tab key. The boxes show possible locations. These mineables will be signified by a diamond icon, rather than the rock icon that you would look for if you were doing ship mining. And you can use your ship's scanner, default keybind V, to see what the mineables are before you land and pull out your rock. Hadonite is the most profitable. Simply point at the node and hold left mouse click while in scanning mode. Scroll the mouse wheel up and get closer for finer resolution on your scan. The mining process consists of two parts, mining and extraction. Once you've selected a rock to mine, hit M to activate mining mode and left click the mouse to start the beam. Then you'll want to dial up your laser's power by scrolling up on the mouse wheel. The power percent is indicated by the bar on the left side of the mining HUD. You will then monitor your zone slider on the right side of the HUD. Once the slider is in the optimal zone, Shown in green, you will want to regulate your power up and down with your mouse wheel to keep it in the optimal zone. If the slider bumps into the red zone, immediately point the laser away or remove power until the red zone no longer has any charge, indicated by the growing red bar. If the red zone has any charge when the rock cracks, then it will explode. The size of the explosion is relative to the amount of charge the red zone had when it cracked. Once the rock has cracked, you will see a number of diamond icons scatter around the rock's location. Hit your mouse button to enter extraction mode, 
Then hit the left mouse button to activate your beam. Point this beam at the various diamond icons to vacuum them up. Repeat this process until you are finished mining the location. Once your cargo is full, or you are ready to turn in, load up your rock and head to an admin office, located in the Galleria on space stations, for example. Your rock should show on the list, and even if it shows zero inventory, simply click on it and sell as you would any other cargo. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this guide was helpful. For more guides like this, please like and subscribe.